Hello, Skylar Collins here. I recently made a donation to the Mises Institute in celebration of their 30 year anniversary. I uh, discovered the Mises Institute a few years ago. Um, however, they were not the first on my list of discoveries when I started exploring um, the world of economics and libertarianism. Um, I first started to develop a passion for economics by reading the weekly columns of both Walter Williams and Thomas Sowell, um, the way that they, when they do talk about economics, the way that they would explain things made it sound really interesting to me. So um, I started to, to seek out, I, I bought Thomas Sowell's Basic Economics. Um, I started to find more and more stuff written by them on economics and, and just, I ate it all up, absolutely loved it. But what that, what I want to talk about was, was for me how that helped me um, see the uh, benefits of the free market um, as opposed to the regulated market as opposed to government intervention in the market now some people may lament the fact that people don't um, you know they're not easily convinced at first by the ethical or the moral arguments for liberty and against um, the state and against government and government interventions um, and for me I wasn't either I, I can't say I wasn't very familiar with them I mean I'd heard them from time to time but I think that when you're until you have um, a firm grasp on the economics it's easy to believe that laws um, government interventions are necessary in order to combat the perceived aggressions by private businesses. It's easy to, to see businesses and business people as as greedy and aggressive and and the business practices that many have as um, predatory. And so it's easy to justify government laws and those things that I now believe are moral on moral grounds for that reason. So what economics does I think is it helps you understand that Government interventions mess up the economy. Um, government interventions create more problems than they solve. There's always unintended consequences um, that beget further interventions in the economy. And until you have a firm grasp, I think, of the economics, of sound economic theory, which I think is what you find in the Austrian School of Economics, um, you know, it, it would be much harder, at least it was for me, to swallow the moral and the ethical arguments. Really. To even pay attention to them, to even to even look for them, and to try to understand the the moral and the ethical considerations um, against the state, because I mean, you you view the state as your friend, as somebody who's helping you against greedy business people. So until you understand, until you have a firm grasp of the the arguments for a free market, um, starting with just basic things too. I mean, you move from that into um, a free market into you know services such as national defense and and courts and police and and whatnot um, it, it's it's a lot easier to swallow that that moral argument against the government now I don't know if that just um, demonstrates the moral depravity that we in society are in I don't I don't think it does because again we look at government as our friend as somebody who's helping us against the predatory practices of business and many people still believe that. So, you know, I got started on my journey towards freedom um, with an understanding of economics. It became a passion of mine. I read everything I could. I read through Walter Williams, Thomas Sowell, read a little bit of Milton Friedman. I moved into and discovered uh, Rothbard and Hayek and Mises, um, Henry Hazlitt, Walter Block, Robert Murphy. Um, and then from there, of course, discovered, discovered the entire Austrian school and and you know all of, all of that um, and then moved from economics into the moral and the ethical arguments for liberty I mean I kinda I, I would also add that from the economics I moved into I, I don't know if I would call it more rule of law type of conservatism meaning um, you look at the Constitution and the rules it sets and then and then argue against people breaking those rules but None of that, you know, none of that really matters when you understand the moral and ethical arguments behind the adoption of any state, really. So I think economics is valuable. I made um, a $30 donation to the Mises Institute. Go to Mises.org. There's a link there. I, I definitely recommend everybody doing it. 
Um, it's been very influential to me. I think they're doing fantastic work both, both in economics and in libertarian political theory. They, they go after both of them. Um, but economics is very important, even though right now my, my libertarianism or voluntarism is primarily a moral position. Um, I consider voluntarism to be a moral philosophy, and I've been exploring all sorts of avenues with that. It, it, you know, it, secondarily, it is an economic argument, and that's what got me started here. So it's very valuable in order to get people um, to listen to the message of liberty, listen to the message of free markets. Um, I, I think it's fascinating. I love to study. I love to read about it. Um, and I like to share things like that. So it is a topic of interest, at least at, at my website, here at Everything voluntary.com I try to share things that promote economic freedom and, and understanding of economic freedom and the importance of that because the more that we understand about economic freedom the more we see the how unnecessary the state is and once once we can see the state as unnecessary we can also see the state as immoral and those two I think go together and, and I think they're both important arguments to make so I just I wanted to say that the Mises Institute the Foundation for Economic Education Future Freedom uh, Foundation, the Independent Institute. These are um, institutes that have been very influential to me. I, I follow them on a daily basis. I absolutely love everything they put out, um, especially the economics. Um, I've found a number of sort of independent economics websites I like to follow too. EconomicPolicyJournal.com is a great one. Um, there's some others. Um, I, I've got them on my, my main blog at SkylarJCollins.com. If you click the link that says followed sites, you can see the sites that I follow, and there's, there's, a, there's a big list there. Um, I definitely recommend it. It fascinates me. I hope it fascinates you. Um, just studying basic economics, I, I recommend Thomas Sowell's book, Basic Economics. I recommend Henry Hazlitt's book, Economics in One Lesson. And then going up from there, um, anything written by Rothbard, Walter Block has, has been very influential to me. Um, Mises, Hayek on economics, I understand. I, I'm not as familiar with Hayek as I am as some of the others. Um, anybody really Austrian school who talks about business cycle theory, um, subjective theory of value, all of that great stuff, it's, it's, it's wonderful. So I just want to put that plug in there and just say that economics, I think, is important in the fight for liberty. I think it'll help bring a lot of people towards finally accepting the moral and ethical arguments for liberty. So at least it did for me. And, you know, I got to give, I got to sort of give uh, other people that benefit of the doubt that, that it can do for them, too. So I just wanted to say that and uh, have a good day.